between Tucker and Kate, you have two of the top small forwards in the conference in this game. How fun is it to kind of watch that matchup, same height, same style? Yeah, uh, you know, Kate, Kate's uh, you know, one of the better players in the league, better players in the country. Um, you know, obviously, Tucker, you, you know, in, in similar similar category. So, um, you know, fun to watch both those guys out there you know, doing their thing. It's um, you know, as an opposing coach, it's a, a little scary. You know, watching, uh, you know, trying to game plan to try to slow down Cade because he is such a talented player. You, with this win, you're assured to have that first round by in Arch Madness. I'm sure that you're not looking that far ahead with a few games left in the season. But what's the comfort level knowing that you have Thursday off? I mean that that's you know great. Um, you know, our our focus right now is just uh, you know each individual game and and. Um, Trying to trying to win that that next one and, and you know right now at, uh, you know after tonight we, we turn the page and, and you know head to Cedar Falls for what's always a, a very competitive and tough game. When you lost to these guys, big a couple months ago, um, what did that do for this team coming into this matchup? I know I didn't sleep very much uh, these last couple of days. You know you go back and, and rewatch the tape, so um, you know. Mentioned you go from the Murray State game and get a win, and then you go home and watch the film, and then you turn on the, the previous game with Belmont. Uh, it ruined the mood pretty quickly. Um, I, I thought our guys did a good job of uh, not overreacting to that game because it, it was, you know, we've had those nights too where everything's going in, and, and I, I, I thought Belmont that night, you know, played extremely well, and um, you know we weren't quite as connected as maybe we needed to be. So. You know, we made little adjustments and, and stuff here and there, but, but for the most part, it was you know let's let's play better. And uh, you know, and I, I thought our guys, I thought our guys played extremely hard tonight and uh, did a nice job of, of trying to take away um, what hurt us um, the last time at their place. When you look at the gap between the two Belmont games, you mentioned all the struggles you had uh, in that first game where you guys really shot 25 percent in the second half. And you look at all the success you've had since that game, and even tonight when you shot 55% in the second half, what is like the one or two things that you have just been, like the big picture focuses that you have changed throughout from then to now? Yeah, I, I think we've done a, a, a much better job uh, in the last four or five games. I, I think our ball movement's really gotten better. I think our player movement's gotten better as well. Uh, we're playing off each other you know, and creating with our movement. I think we're creating a little more indecision for defenses, uh, uh, where we can get two guys on the ball a little bit more, which uh, creates, you know, better shot opportunities. I also feel like we, we've been trying to, you know, get in the paint, uh, whether it's uh, through a post up or uh, dribble penetration, and then you know make inside out threes. And, and our guys have done a really good job of that. And I, I think we've got a variety of guys doing it too. We're getting multiple guys involved and. In, in the distribution and getting into the paint and, and spraying from there. So I think our shot quality is, is, has really improved here these, you know, whatever last five, six games. You mentioned sort of making their defenses work. You look at this and Belmont leads the league in steals. They had zero in the first half, finished with three. Did you look at taking away that part of their game for this matchup? Yeah, they're, they're, uh, the last time we played them, we had 15 turnovers. So, um, you know, that's – it's hard to win when you turn the ball over that many times. So, coming in halftime, we had one turnover, which is a terrific turnaround. You know, and that's um, in the second half we we had six, which is you know it's it's a little bit. But um, I thought overall we did a really nice job taking care of the basketball. And um, when you do that, it gives you a much better opportunity to win. You obviously spread the scoring around tonight. Where does balance rank among this team's strengths? Yeah, I think our balance is is um, is our strength. Uh, I, I think we have multiple guys on a on a given night that can go get twenty. Because you know, in college basketball, pro guys, but at any level, you, you know, you have off nights. Uh, so uh, not having to rely on one guy or two guys every single night to carry the carry the scoring is is a, a, a great luxury for a coach to have. That we have, you know, those three, four, five guys that can all go have a night. Um, so that on a, when a guy has an off night. Um, you know, it doesn't just automatically mean you're probably in trouble. And uh, I, li I like the way our guys are, are, are really moving it and sharing it right now. I, th I think it's, um, you know, they're, they're doing some nice things on that end of the floor. <clears throat> Off the bench, Nate isn't always your leading scorer, your leading rebounder, but he seems to have grown a lot in his confidence. Um, have you seen that? And then kind of off of that, if you have seen that, what does that add, especially him being able to go in for Brody? Yeah, I, I, I love what Nate does for us. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice one-two punch because him and Brody are, are 
they're different players, and and, and um, you know Nate comes in gives us maybe a, um, a little more of that that speed and, and versatility uh, in in and out of ball screens. Where Brody's more of the the bruiser, you know, and and uh, I think that combination's worked really well for us. I, I think it's um, you know kind of a nice little change up that we can come with and. You can see Nate's confidence as the year's going on has really grown. He understands his role, and, and he plays it really well. I know you just got done saying you're not looking too far ahead, but when you see some of the talking heads putting you on the bubble uh, if you're not able to win the Valley, why do you think this team is maybe well-suited to win in March? Yeah, I, I do think this team uh, is well-suited. I, I think it is an NCAA tournament team, but none of that matters if you don't continue to win. Um, but what I do like about this team is the things we've talked about. I, I think the balance is there um, that uh, that teams that make the tournament have to have. I think we have good depth. Um, you know, we defend and we rebound. We take care of the ball, and then offensively, um, you know, we can score in a lot of different ways. So, uh, I, I think it's a team that um, you know. Again, you have to continue to win because that's the only thing that matters right now. But um, if we do that, that's certainly a team that uh, has, has, through the course of the year, proven that they're um, a quality team. Going back to the midway point, the couple points in the middle of the first half there, it seemed you broke away from Belmont and then they seemingly came back. What was your message to the team during those breaks, during those timeouts, and what did you see after the timeouts that sort of led you to get this big lead? Yeah, you know, we did have we had a couple of nice spurts in the first half. Um, got a little bit of a lead, and uh, it was just a couple of breakdowns that um, that's how fast it just you give it right back. Um, so uh, it was just it was just really cleaning those up. We just had a couple a couple uh, mistakes there that um, um, you know good teams make you pay uh, when you do it. So, uh, but the, you know those, those things happen. So the guys in the you know, timeouts we talked about them and they came back out and you know corrected uh, those, those issues.